tutorials and we'll learn how to, how to make deep six. So here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some black duct tape. You're going to need some gray duct tape. Um, you're going to need these instructions. You're going to need some cardboard. Um, you're going to need a brown marker or pen. You're going to need a pencil, which, um, yeah. You're going to need a toothpick. And I believe that is it. Let me check. Oh, yeah, you're also going to need some sellotape. Um... Oh, I've never explained this, have I? But basically, um, when I use gray duct tape or black duct tape, it's basically just used to um, to not have to waste like marker ink and just color it like something like this easily without having to use like marker ink. Anyway, um, let's get to the first step. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually copy the instructions onto a piece of cardboard, and then you're gonna cut it all the stuff out. So, um, let's make the actual body of Deep Six first. So, you're going to take some tape. You're going to take um, a piece of duct You're going to take this um, piece of cardboard. You're just going to attach it like so to the side. You're going to um, bend it over like so. Do this right. Oh, there we go. Then you're going to take some more tape. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Like so. Right, do this incorrectly. There you go. Like so. Um, when I said like so, I meant like taping it. Um, to cardboard. Okay. Now you're gonna take some more um, tape. You're gonna take a piece of tape. You're gonna take um, one of these panels, like the six, pan like the six panel. Um, you're gonna attach it like so to here. You're gonna fold over your tape. If you can't, if you don't have, if it, your tape, if your piece of tape isn't long enough, guys, I'd recommend um, just using some piece of tape. Then you're gonna take some more tape. Take that piece of tape, attach it to here, like so. Um, sorry about background noise, guys. Um, if the camera even picked that up, actually, not sure it did. Anyway, you attach it like so. Attach it to here. F fold it over, and like I said earlier, you can use um, either second piece of tape, or if it's long enough, you can also use just um, that same piece of tape. Now take some more tape. Take a piece of tape, attach it to here, this long strip of t of cardboard, um, like so. Attach it to the piece, like so. Fold over the tape. Or again, you can use a second piece of tape. Um, that should just be understood from now on, hopefully. Um, now take some more tape. Take some more tape. Um, you're gonna attach it to here like so. You're going to um, attach it to here. Or actually, I'd recommend doing it on the underside. Um, so you want to do it like who's doing? But um, the main thing you're gonna want to do is insert it like so, then bend down the tape. On the here, and then bend this up because otherwise, um, not all the pieces are gonna fit like so. Now take some more tape. Take that piece of tape, attach it to here. Um, do the exact same thing. I'm not even sure if the camera's picking that up, but um, sorry about the background noise. Once again, take the tape, bend it down, or use a second piece of tape like I already said. Um, take some more tape. Take some tape, attach it to here. Like so. Um, attach your piece of tape to here if you can. And then fold it over without it getting stuck onto the um, bottom piece over here. That's not long enough to stay, so I'm going to use a second piece of tape. Oh, by the way, the same thing I said earlier applies in reverse. By that, I mean if your piece of tape isn't lo is long enough you can always just do it like that i just did not have a long enough piece of tape just attach it like so and yeah okay 
Now you're going to take some more tape. You're going to take that piece of tape. You're going to attach it to here. You're going to fold this up like so. There you go. Take some more tape. Take some tape. Attach it to here like so. Fold it over, up like so. Attach it to here. Take some more tape. Attach it to right here like so. If I just can. There we go. Fold this back up. And bend your tape like so. Take some more tape. Take that piece of tape. Attach it to here. Like so. Bend this up. And yeah. Um, now take some more tape. Take a piece of tape like so. Bend it in onto here. And if it can go, and that's been too far in. And if it can go, keep going. Take, do it on the other side. Um, so you're just gonna take the piece of tape, attach it to here at the corner, bend it here, and then bend it farther, like so, if I can. There we go. Um, yeah, about like that. There we go. Now you're gonna take some more tape. Take a piece of tape, um, attach it to the very, okay, um, attach it to the very piece, to the very back area of the piece, um, then attach it to the actual cardboard, want to line it up really well, I'll be back once I've lined this up actually well, really well.